Why do you have to whisper in the library? Find out how good manners make the library a pleasant place for everyone to visit. Manners in the Library by Carrie Finn, illustrated by Chris Lynch. Good manners are an important part of any library visit. Lots of different people use the library in lots of different ways. By using good manners, you can show respect for everyone. There are many ways you can use good manners in the library. Mia uses her inside voice in the library. She keeps quiet so she won't disturb other people. She is using good manners. Charles wants to find a book on dinosaurs. He says please when he asks the librarian for help. He is using good manners. Kyle is hungry, but he saves his apple until he leaves the library. He is using good manners. Ruth helps her little sister find a sing-along video. They are careful with the videos, books, and computers in the library. They are using good manners. Grace loves to learn about lions. Still, she checks out only the number of books she knows she'll read. She is using good manners. Jody spends a rainy day in the library. She reads silently to herself so she doesn't bother other people. She is using good manners. Mark's books are due on Friday. He returns his books on time. He is using good manners. During story time, Joey and Tanya sit quietly and listen. They are using good manners. Manny does not interrupt his mom while she reads to his little brother. He is using good manners. You can learn a lot at the library. You can also have fun. By using good manners, you can make sure that everyone else enjoys his or her visits too. Fun Facts There are more than 117,000 libraries in the United States. The word book in Spanish is libro. Mexico is home to the oldest library in North America. The first known public library was in Egypt more than 2,000 years ago, in about 300 BC. The Library of Congress has the most books of any library in the United States. Hello friends, I hope you enjoyed our story today. If you did, please click like and share this book with your friends. And don't forget to look for all the other books by Storytime with Lorelei. See you next time. Bye for now.